All this week on KHQA, we're talking about your personal protection. We start this series with the basics. What should you have in your purse? Or men, some of these shouldn't be in your wallet either. So listen up closely, especially Black Friday's coming around. Holiday shopping season is just around the corner. Gretchen McGee joins us now this morning from First Bankers Trust. Gretchen, what is the first thing that we should be talking about? first thing we should be talking about is how people need to be responsible for protecting themselves from identity theft mm -hmm. and fraud. All right. I it have, starts with you. I have my purse here. We're going to go ahead and dump this out. Okay. Hopefully nothing too scary in here. Okay. Oh, boy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> for the sake of TV, I, I mean, I've, this is my, I've been working on the story, so I know what you shouldn't have in here, but we do have some of the items that you shouldn't have. Yes. The first one is a checkbook. Yes. Why is it so important not to have a checkbook in there? Well, it's okay to have your checkbook because we write checks, and you're going to have some. You don't need multiple checkbooks. Try to keep a limited number of checks. Never sign your checks mm -hmm. until you are in the presence of who you're uh, making your purchase with, and don't endorse your checks either. Okay. If somebody's written you a check, don't sign the back until you get to the bank. Oh, very good idea. Because if somebody gets an endorsed check, nobody's going to check their identity. So, um, And also, another thing to be, while we're on the topic of checks, your statement. Your mm -hmm. statement is something that you shouldn't keep in your purse or your wallet either. Uh, your statement has canceled checks, usually with it, that has your signature. Somebody can can actually copy your signature that way. Hmm, very important. Also, um, social security cards. Why should you not have these in your purse? That's your identity. And, and that's the first thing somebody needs is your, your name, your date of birth, your social security number. They can open up accounts, they can get a loan, they can do all kinds of things. They can go get a driver's license if they have, wow. if they have your birth certificate along with your social security card. They can go get a driver's license with your name. So you should not keep your social security card in your purse at all. Now we're talking about accounts, um, keeping multiple credit cards. Um, I, have, well, I have two credit cards and two debit cards. Why should you not keep all of these in your purse? Well, first of all, imagine that your purse or your wallet was lost or stolen. Yeah, these would be gone. <laughs> it, it is, and, and somebody right away can go out and, and do some harm to you. In most cases, you're protected, but still, it's going to be a lot of problems to you. Um, you've got to stop your credit cards. You don't know for sure what was in your purse. It's just best to keep a limited number in your purse. And, and a lot of people make purchases online. You can keep your cards at home. Mm -hmm. A password cheat sheet, real important to keep that not in your purse. We have so many passwords and PIN numbers today, but it's best not to keep that list. We all keep a list. <laughs> we have to. Mm -hmm. um, but don't keep the list in your purse. Keep it at home someplace. And, and with your debit card being in your purse or your wallet, we all carry a debit card. Mm -hmm. We live on right. debit cards now. But do not put your PIN number with your debit card. Right. <laughs> That's very good information. There's only <laughs> limited use that a person can do with your debit card if they don't have your PIN number. Right. And if, you know, we're talking about you shouldn't have these in your purse, what sh where should you keep this, all of this stuff? We're going to talk about that tomorrow on KHQA This Morning. You're going to be back to join us. Thank sure. you this morning for joining us, You're and welcome. we will see you tomorrow with more information on that.